Now, we are interested to find instead of the cumulative uh, probability x less than equal to 1 less than equal to 2 like that, we are interested to find the probability at a point. So, what will be the probability that f of x, x equal to 0 or that point it is actually a range of x. So, this is nothing but, so basically we have to first find out what is x equal to 0, x equal to 0 is nothing but all s belongs to the sample space s1 such that x of s is equal to 0. Now, uh, this is sample space contains you, uh, you can remember that uh, 8 points. So, that is why it is nothing but it is exactly equal to 0 satisfying t t t t. So, that is why probability of x equal to 0 will be because it is only one um, uh, possibilities out of 8 1 by 8. Now, what is probability of x equal to 1 we want to find. So, x equal to 1 is nothing but uh, all s belongs to s1 such that x of s is equal to 1. So, what are those points? See that here we are not considering less than equal to, it is exactly equal to. So, those values is satisfying this equality, so not the inequality, it is equality only. So, this is nothing but head tail tail, tail head tail and uh, tail tail head. So, only one head, these are the one head. So, then probability of x equal to 1 will be because there are 3 possibilities out of 8. So, this is uh, 3 by 8. So, now what is probability of x is equal to 2? x equal to 2 is equal to x equal to 2. Here also we will find uh, the value s belongs to s1 such that x s is equal to 2. So, note that only we will consider. So, earlier we computed the cumulative probability. So, that is the that is why cumulative distribution function. So, here we are signing that equal to only. So, what will be x s equal to 2? So, this is nothing but uh, all the uh, so head, head, uh, tail, all the point where is, which is equal to actually number of head will be equal to 2. So, that is head, tail, head and then sorry. So, head, tail, head, uh, head, tail, head and then uh, tail, head, head. This is 3 points. So, then uh, probability of x equal to 2 because there are 3 out of 6. So, this is equal to uh, 3 by 8. So, then probability of x is equal to 3, what is the probability of x equal to 3? So, you we have to find x equal to 3, all s belongs to s1 such that or, or x of s is equal to 3. That means, we have to find all this point which has exactly 3 uh, head. So, so, x exactly 3 head is only one point. So, that is why x equal to 2, this is nothing but again only one out of uh, one out of uh, the 8. So, this is nothing but 1 by what I meant. This is nothing but 1 by 8, 1 by 8. So, you can see that this is exactly same as probability of x equal to 0, this is probability of x equal to 1, this is probability of x equal to 2 and probability of x equal to 3. So, basically this jump actually nothing but actually probability at a point. So, this is probability of x equal to 1, probability of x equal to 2 and probability of x equal to 3. So, this is one kind of information we found that. So, whenever, uh, so that is the things you can see that you can match here. So, uh, whenever in general if you write this discrete random variable means it has uh, either finite range of x contain only finite number or it may be countable, countable infinite number. So, if it is a countable finite number, then you will write this range is nothing but suppose 1, 2, 3 or any number may be up to m some number or it may be countable infinite then then also uh, the, so countable number means countable means uh, there is a bijective correspondence to a subset of the natural number. So, that is why it is infinite then it will be a bijective correspondence to the uh, natural number to this. So, that is why we can write like this x 1, x 2, x m like that and because there is a order. So, uh, we can assume that x 1 is less than x 2 less than x 3 like that also uh, we can denote, uh, we can assume without loss of generality we can assume range looks like this. And then um, we can see that uh, this distribution function actually looks like for discrete random variable, suppose somewhere here x 1 then x 2 like this. So, distribution function looks like it is 0 less than x 1. So, then it is a step here. So, then this is up to x 2 and then this is like this suppose x 3. So, like this, this distribution function like a step function. Then what is the 
uh, this uh, step this step is nothing but <coughs> this step is nothing but basically f of x x1 minus f of x x1 minus 1 so this is the step this is nothing but probability that x equal to x1 similarly probability of x of x2 minus probability of x of x2 minus this is nothing but probability of x equal to x2 so probability at a point there is a relationship with the cumulative distribution function uh, and sometimes for convenient uh, we can use this uh, probability at a point instead of this probability uh, is a cumulative. So, that is why sometimes it is complicated that is why we define some new uh, function it is called a probability mass function for a discrete random variable probability mass function. So, probability mass function how it is defined? So, probability mass function is defined by P x of x, it is denoted as P x probability mass function, it is nothing but probability of x is equal to x. So, basically for all x uh, uh, belongs to the real number, but usually this probability will be 0 whenever it is not in the range of the, uh, so th there are some properties you will uh, learn that probability mass function. So, now this is nothing but P x of x 1, this is nothing but P x of x 2. So, we can find the probability uh, mass function from this uh, relationship. So, now uh, one thing is that, so whenever you are considering R x is equal to x 1, x 2 like this. So, then uh, f of x, x 1 minus will be basically there is no, because we are considering without loss of generality less than x 2 less than like this and then uh, this will be 0 actually. So, f of x, x 1 uh, minus f of x x 1 minus 1 this will be nothing but f of x x 1. So, which is same as probability of x equal to x 1. So, what is probability of x equal to uh, x 2 minus probability of f of x 2 minus. So, basically this is nothing but probability that x less than equal to x 2 and this is nothing but probability that x less than equal to basically x 1. So, uh, this is nothing but probability of x of x2 minus probability of f of x of x1. So, x2 minus, so you can see from this example, numerical example here. So, f of x 0 minus is 0 here basically. So, that is why this is coming 1 by 8 only 0 minus is 0. Now, f of x 1 minus what is this? f of x 1 minus is 1 by 8. So, 1 by 8 is nothing but f of x 0, f of x 0 is 1 by 8. So, basically for discrete random variable case uh, f of f of x x k minus is nothing but f of x x k minus 1 whenever k is uh, greater than 1. Now, otherwise whenever k is 1 f of x x 1 minus is nothing but equal to 0. So, whenever k is equal to 1. So, that is why uh, probability mass, on, mass function like satisfying this probability x k is nothing but uh, prob f of x x k minus f of x x k minus 1 whenever k is greater than 1 uh, otherwise whenever k f of x x 1 whenever k is 1 it is nothing but f of x x 1. So, basically it is taking the cumulative sum. So, uh, if you know the cumulative distribution function, you can find the probability mass function using this. Now, how will find the, suppose you know the probability mass function, f of p of x it is known to us, then how we will find the cumulative distribution function. So, how we will find, so, so what is f of x x? So, f of x is nothing but probability that x less than equal to x. So, then how we will find the cumulative distribution function? This is using this probability mass function because so basically if you represent it graphically so then it can be more understandable x1 suppose this is x2 x3 x4 like this so basically these are the uh, px of x1 this is px of x2 this is the graph for probability mass function for other value it is zero so like this now for cumulative distribution function so this is x1 then x2 x3 x4 like this so f of x is 0 here then it takes some jump then this takes some jump like this so we have already discussed this value is nothing but px of x1 this value is nothing but 
px of x2 this value is nothing but px of x3 so that we discussed here so this is px of x1 is nothing but f of x x1 so from here this is this value px of x1 is nothing but f of x x1 px of x2 onwards it is nothing but the difference of their probability so px of x2 is nothing but f of x x2 minus f of x x2 minus 1 so uh, let us do one very simple example numerical example if you uh, it uh, it seems if it is little complicated so then let us do one example so let us consider uh, x let x be a discrete random variable with range rx is equal to minus 1 0 1 only very simple random variable and the probability mass function we denote by pmf basically nothing but probability mass function uh, is uh, the probability mass function is nothing but px of uh, so xk this is equal to 1 by 3 whenever xk belongs to minus 1 0 1 it is equal to 0 otherwise otherwise so this is some kind of some probability so now uh, we did not here we did not say uh, any sample space so we are assuming that there is some sample space and x is the random variable taking this value and this is the probability mass function now we have to check whether it can be a probability mass function or not so that's why we have to know uh, what will be the some of the properties of the probability mass function see that there are some of the probability probabilities because probability mass function is nothing but px of x is nothing but probability that x equal to x whenever x is the real number now you can show we, uh, from previous example we have seen that we have checked that this will be always because it is a probability so then p of x x or always less than equal to 1 greater than equal to 0 and p x of x p x of x will be 0 if x not equal to x k some value for k is equal to 1 2 like this because uh, we, we are range of x is constant this value x1 x2 like this if x does not belongs to x is na, not none of this x1 x2 x3 any value then suppose uh, in the uh, tossing a coin three times so you have to seen that uh, x taking value 0 1 2 and 3 that that probably you have found so if you consider that what is the value x is equal to any other value than 1 2 0 1 2 3 x is equal to 1.5 then what will be the probability so if you find uh, this one point x equal to 1.5 all is satisfying s1 such that x is equal to 1.5 now uh, none of the uh, because x only taking integers 0 1 2 3 uh, number of heads so it cannot be equal to 1.5 for any of the points so that's why it is a null set so that's why probability of x equal to 1.5 will be probability of the null set this is equal to 0 so any uh, x which does not uh, equal to any of the x1 x2 xk so uh, any value xk then it will be equal to 0 so this is one property we need to learn know that equal to 0 and also another thing is that what will be the probability sum of px of x xk this probability will be is equal to 1 because uh, this if you take this sum suppose uh, here you can see that in this example numerical example also you can see that so these are the total 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 this value so if you take this sum 1 by 8 plus 3 by 8 3 plus 3 6 plus 1 plus uh, plus 2 6 plus 2 7 plus 1 8 so summation of p of uh, so this is probability that x is equal to 1 plus probability of x equal to 2 plus probability of x equal to 3 plus probability of uh, oh another thing that probability of x equal to 0 so this should be is equal to 1 so that is because it is a certain event so if you take summation of probability x is equal to uh, summation of all uh, xk so this is nothing but it we are considering 
all the possible value x can take. So, that means we are talking about the probability of a certain event s. So, that is is equal to 1. So, and also how we can find the distribution function f x from the probability uh, uh, probability mass function or uh, so how so whenever we want to find uh, distribution function from the probability mass function suppose probability mass function. So, one point we know whenever you have this distribution function it is known to us x less than equal to x then probability x uh, x k we know that this is nothing but f of x k minus f of x x k minus 1 sorry x k minus the previous point. So, if the previous if k is greater than 1 otherwise p of x x 1 will be is equal to nothing but f of x x 1. So, whenever you know the cumulative distribution function you can find the probability mass function, but the opposite suppose uh, you know the probability mass function. So, then how you can find the cumulative, cumulative distribution function suppose p x of x k it is known for any x k belongs to this set x 1 x 2 like this, this range of x. Then it is known to us, then how we can find the cumulative distribution function uh, from this uh, probability mass function. So, how the cumulative distribution function is defined? Cumulative function f of x is defined by probability that x less than equal to x. So, that means, so then uh, it may possible that, so, so, so suppose if you see this graph, so, so suppose x 1, x 2, x 3 like this. So, x can be anywhere. So, we want to find that. Now, if x is uh, the minimum value less than this minimum value. So, then uh, this probability will be. So, what is the probability? So, this is nothing but uh, it will be 0. So, if x is less than x 1. So, from this numerical example also you have seen that. So, if you consider this cumulative distribution function whenever x is the less than this minimum value, so then this value is 0. So, that is why it is equal it will be equal to because uh, what is actually it will be a null, null set whenever x is less than equal to x whenever you are considering x is less than x 1. So, then um, uh, if you can find this x less than equal to x this set s belongs to s such that x s is less than equal to x. Now, none of this uh, s will satisfy this relationship because x is less than x 1. So, uh, none of the value will uh, satisfy the inequality. So, it is nothing but the null set. So, that is why it will be 0. Now, if x is somewhere in this greater than x 1 or greater than x 2 somewhere, then see that the probability exists at a point only. Other than that, this is a constant. So, uh, there is no probability. So, that is why this will be nothing but. So, whenever x is greater than equal to x 1 less than suppose x 2. So, then this value will be nothing but p x of x 1. So, now, now if it is. So, now if x is greater than equal to x 2 less than x 3 then this value will be just cumulatively we have to add it. So, like this, this it will go, go on. So, how it is coming actually? So, basically whenever x is suppose you are finding suppose x is between this. So, then what is probability of x less than equal to x? So, whenever you are finding this probability you have to find this this value. So, x less than equal to x is nothing but all s belongs to s such that x s is less than equal to x. Now, x is between x 1 and x 2. So, x is a discrete random variability is taking only integer. So, this probability is nothing but just x all the value just it is nothing but all the value it can take the only x 1 it can take. So, this is nothing but p x of x 1 only that is why. Now, if x is uh, between uh, x 2 and x 3. So, then uh, this this will be nothing but whenever it is x 2 and x 3. So, then this this probability is less than equal to x is nothing but probability at point x 1 plus probability at point x 2. So, like this. So, that is why we will uh, uh, we can find the probability uh, prob cumulative distribution function. So, in general we can write the C d f of f x x, f x x is nothing but uh, summation of all this f x of x k, all this x k such that x k is less than equal to x. So, that we can write. So, if uh, if x is uh, greater than equal to x 1, otherwise this is equal to 0, 0 uh, otherwise.
So, because only minimum value it is crossing, then we can add some probability. Otherwise, if x is less than x1, then none of the value actually satisfying this inequality, that is why f of x will be 0. So, that in general it is written, it is actually in general it is given here cumulative distribution function can be found by using the probability mass function. So, let us uh, see this example. So, one example we started. So, uh, suppose this example, let x be a uh, discrete random variable with range r x is minus 1, 0, 1 and the probability mass function is given by this. So, basically x k means here x 1 is equal to minus 1, x 2 is 0 and x 3 is 1. So, so in this way we uh, as we are getting using the notation. So, x 1 is the minimum value, x 2 next value and x 3 is uh, next value like that. So, it is it is taking only finite number of value. So, whether it will be a probability mass function. So, what are the properties? First of all, it is between 0 to 1. So, it is 0 otherwise, otherwise it is 1 by 3. So, it is between 0 to 1. So, it is 0 unless because it is 0 unless it is in uh, one of the value x 1 x 2 x k and if you take this sum, so what is the sum? So, p x of minus 1 plus p x of uh, 0 plus p x of 2. So, this is this will be 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3, this will be is equal to equal to 1. So, this is a probability mass function. So, now this probability mass function is given, suppose we want to find the cumulative distribution function, then how we will find the cumulative distribution function? So, cumulative distribution function f x x is nothing but probability that x less than equal to x. So, this is, is equal to, so it will be is equal to 0 whenever it is less than the minimum value of the range. So, this is x get less than minus 1 greater than minus infinity. Now, whenever it is between get less than greater than equal to this minimum then greater than less than x 2. So, then what will be the value? So, uh, it will be it is the 0. So, then what will be the value? This value will be. So, uh, it is nothing but. So, uh, where I have written here it is nothing but p x of x 1. So, this is nothing but uh, p x of minus 1. So, p x of minus 1 is nothing but p x of minus 1 is nothing but 1 by 3. This is 1 by 3. Now, whenever x is next interval greater than equal to 0 less than uh, 1. So, then it is nothing but you can see that this is nothing but p x of x 1 plus p x of x 2. So, because it is a uh, this is called a uniform random variable because all probabilities are same. So, it is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 this is equal to 2 by 3. Now, whenever x is greater than equal to 1 less than infinity. So, because there is no any other point only 3 points where and after adding 3 points 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 this will be is equal to 1. So, this will be a step function. So, if you uh, if you draw this function. So, this is nothing but uh, minus 1 0 1. So, this will be 0 and uh, then this will be uh, 1 by 3 uh, then this will be uh, 2 by 3 and this will be uh, 1. So, this will be 1. So, this is 2 by 3 this is, uh, so this is actually 1 by 3, this is 1 by 3, this is 1 by 3. So, this difference will be 1 by 3. So, this is a uh, probability mass function of a random variable. Now, probability mass function can be, so because um, we can see that, so if any function satisfying this relationship, so we can have some, uh, we can, uh, it can be a probability mass function. Let us discuss uh, other, and uh, some other random variable uh, for, it may be a infinite also. So, let us consider another random variable where it is not equal probability. Suppose, let us consider uh, range of x is, uh, x is a random variable where range of x is nothing but uh, 1, 2 and 3 only suppose. So, that means x 1 is equal to 1, x 2 is equal to 2 and x 3 is equal to x 3 is equal to 3 range of x is this. Now, uh, uh, suppose we want to uh, then, then what is the uh, probability mass function. So, let Range, uh, let x be a uh, discrete random variable with range of x this and probability mass function is given by p of x is equal to uh, suppose this is equal to uh, 1 by 4, 1 by 4 for x is equal to 1 and 2 and it is, is equal to 1 by 2 whenever x, x is equal to 3 and this is equal to 0 otherwise. Otherwise, so in that case you can see that 
uh, whether it will be a probability mass function, it is always between 0 to 1 and uh, this, this is all the properties and this is 0 unless uh, it is uh, in the range and if you take this sum 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 it is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 this is equal to 1. So, it will be a probability mass function. Now, we want to find a cumulative distribution function from this probability mass function. So, f of x x this is equal to probability of x less than equal to x. So, similarly we can easily find. So, this is equal to uh, 0 if uh, x is the minimum value less than 1 minus infinity. Whenever x is greater than equal to 1 less than 2 then we will add. So, 1 uh, no this will be x equal to 1 this probability is 1 by 4 1 by 4 and whenever x is greater than equal to uh, 2 greater than equal to 2 sorry less than 3 2 2 less than 3. So, then we have to add 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 this is 1 by 2 whenever x greater than equal to 3 less than infinity this probability is equal to 1. So, uh, then we can have this graph also. So, 0, 1, 2, uh, 3. So, I hope you have understood it clearly. So, how we can find the cumulative distribution function up to 0, 1, this is 0, then this is 1 by 4, this is 1 by 4 and then this is uh, this is this is again uh, adding 1 by 2 and then this is nothing but 1. So, this is this is 1 by 4, this is 1 by 4, this is 1 by 2. So, this is this CDF. So, this is f x x, this is x corresponding to this random variable. Now, uh, next we will discuss uh, one uh, discrete random variable which uh, taking infinite values. So, for example, if you consider uh, any infinite series suppose. So, suppose if you take a any infinite series which is convergent. For example, if you cons consider summation of 1 by uh, n square. So, n is equal to 1 to infinity. So, uh, we know that it is a convergent series. So, it converges some number. So, it may or may not be known, but let us. So, it may be uh, it is a pi square by 6. You can check whether it is correct. So, summation of 1 by n square it is pi square by 6. Now, we can define uh, probability mass function using this infinite series like this. So, probability that x is x k this is equal to uh, some constant by uh, uh, like this suppose this number let us simply let us take simply simple p x of n is equal to uh, some constant into some constant by n square, some constant by n square if uh, for n is equal to 1, 2 like this, uh, this is equal to 0 uh, whenever n is equal to for uh, it is it is otherwise, it is equal to 0 otherwise, otherwise. So, then you can see that in that case this range uh, what we are considering this range of this random variable, you can see that range of the random variable is 1, 2, 3 like this. So, basically x 1 is equal to 1, x 2 is equal to 2 like this. So, now uh, it is a uh, it is a infinite, but it is a countable infinite. And now uh, suppose uh, if you consider uh, this constant as 6 by pi square. 6 by pi square. So, instead of constant 6 by pi square n square. So, then uh, we will want to check that whether it is a uh, probability mass function. Because uh, for probability mass function here you can see that what are the properties we need. So, it will be between the probability will be between 0 to 1. So, here you can see that this is a uh, this is between uh, 0 to 1 always and it will be 0 if it is outside the range and also if you take this sum. So, because here infinite number of uh, infinite number of uh, it is this range of x is infinite countable infinite. So, then you have to take this sum n is equal to 1 to infinity p x of n. So, then this is summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity the probability is nothing but 6 of pi square n square. 
So, because 6 by pi square summation of n equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n square. So, it is a convergent series and this convergent series converging to pi square by 6. So, this is 6 by pi square into pi square by 6 this is this is become 1. So, that is why it is a probability mass function of a discrete random variable. Uh, uh, it is a discrete random variable taking uh, countably infinite points and it is a it, it will be a probability mass function. So, that is another example and uh, you can find cumulative distribution function of this random variable. So, this cumulative distribution function the cumulative distribution function f x f of x x can be found like this f of x is just uh, what we did in the uh, previous also previous example it is just infinite only it will be 0 if it is uh, less than the minimum value of this range and then if you x less than equal to 1 less than 2 it will be uh, p x of 1. So, p x of 1 what is the p x of 1 it is 6 by pi square. So, this is nothing but 6 by pi square. So, then x greater than equal to 2 less than 3. So, this is nothing but 6 by pi square plus 6 by uh, 6 by pi square plus 6 by 4 uh, 6 by 4 pi square 4 pi square. So, like this so it will be like infinite uh, uh, interval it will come. So, here in that case your uh, if you draw the uh, graph of the cumulative distribution function. So, if you draw the graph of the cumulative distribution function. So, here your uh, range is 0, 1, 2 like this. So, then uh, at 0 it is 0 then at uh, whenever it is at 1. So, this value is 6 by pi square. So, then uh, this value is 6 by 4 pi square like this. So, this graph will be looks like this and it will be suppose this is 1 at infinity it will be as asymptotically it will be converging to that value 1 f x s converge to 1 at x goes to infinity only. So, this is the discrete random variable and the example and the next we will discuss the continuous random variable and the properties of the continuous random variable.